No pushing. Oop, no there, push. I dropped one. I know, we're walking through, we're walking through. We're walking through, we're walking through. These children probably have no idea the man in the cap is one of the biggest names in college basketball. They're not trying to get an autograph. All they want is a sucker. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We climb into an SUV with two Red Cross workers. They have been brought in in recent years to help. Coach Calipari wants to see downtown Port-au-Prince before ending up at a camp on a mountainside. A city built for only 200,000 people had two million plus squeezed in here when the massive earthquake struck. You know, the estimates are that probably a minimum of 1.5 million people were left homeless by the earthquake. Julie Sell, the American Red Cross, is our guide. Over 200,000 dead. So what's happened is that these temporary camps have sprung up pretty much on every square patch of open space. The street scene is almost overwhelming. I just can't believe. Yeah, I mean, this just goes on and on. And you see the Tents and makeshift mind. shelters are jammed next to each other. Malnutrition is a huge problem here, and sanitary conditions are deplorable. Most of the water has to be brought in from other countries. You know, it's amazing, too. You see everybody just there in line for water. That's yeah. what most, most of what you're seeing. The earthquake only made a bad crime situation even and of worse. Course, with the earthquake, a lot of the prisons collapsed, so you had escaped convicts all over. We never see a police officer or any military, just a small group from the UN. Wow. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> yeah, I suggest but that's him. Coach Calipari, who regularly attends Catholic Mass back home, wow. is stunned by what's left of the National Cathedral. Wow. And the palace. That is incredible. Looked like the roof caved in on the rest of the building. Children beg for food. Give him one and then give the other kid the other. I mean, I feel bad for these people. Like yeah. Sam said, we, we get to leave. And uh, you know what the worst part of it is when you're, what we do, you, you see these young children. Is there a hope for a future? We finally make our way to a mountainside overlooking Port-au-Prince. The road to the camp is too muddy to go any farther. A Red Cross worker assures Coach Calipari the city has come a long way since January. I know it's hard to imagine, you know, that it actually looked a heck of a lot worse. It did. It looked much worse than it did now. I mean, you had 250,000 know, people that died, perished. I mean, you had bodies lining the streets. Uh, he has a simple message for the people of Kentucky who gave to Hoops for Haiti. Thank you, <laughs> for sure. Um, one of the things that certainly has touched me has been the outpouring of generosity that has come from you know this, this catastrophe. There's just so much to do down here, it's scary. You glad you came? Absolutely. I mean, I. You know, the kids at the orphanage and at the school, and you see they're, they're temporary. We smiles, though, didn't we? And, and, and it's was... amazing. You see other people. If you, we were in this environment, could you feel hope? 